bringing that up. That is, he had a little bit of an attitude, as Mr. McCauley could probably attest to. <laughs> he loved to challenge officials, as well as other coaches, which I won't bring up the names, if it was just a look, if it was just an action, if it was just a word, Keith was there to challenge them. But the thing about it, when Keith played volleyball, everybody was in awe watching him. I really believe he changed the game in regards to the officiating. He would do things on the court that were illegal. They were illegal, but I don't think the referees caught up to the game yet, and they had no clue. They were more in awe watching him play and what he was able to do on the court that they wouldn't even make the call. And I think that's what drove the other coaches insane. Basically, as a setter, Keith could set any ball. And I literally mean any ball. Um, six foot three, you know, he had a vertical of I don't know what in that day. It was really, really high. The ball would literally be, and I'm not joking, past two feet over the net. And he would just kind of get parallel to the net. He'd reach his arms back. <laughs> and it set the ball back to our side of the net. If not, he was just putting it down for a kill. Oak Park, which is one of the top teams in the state, um, actually I found an article online, which is crazy that that was the, online, 90 from 96, where the coach had said, we really weren't used to a team that could pass the ball four feet over the net, jump up, and set it. And don't even get started on his blocking. His blocking was the kind of thing that I swear to God, he would block it so straight down, it would bounce back to our side. Unfortunately, even though we were one of the top teams in the state and ranked number one for most of the season, um, we lost to that 